your Prime Minister Narendra Modi said last month that, quote, nowhere in history have any Hindus been involved in terrorism. That's a ridiculous statement to make, isn't it? Of course they have. Well, in the vast majority, if you look that's, at it in terms of the asked, population ratio. We didn't say vast yeah, majority. No, but I'm giving you a straight answer. No, you're not giving yeah, a straight but I'm also answer. Giving you a straight literally answer. jumped away and but said no, vast majority. I, he said nowhere in history. Level. I'm quoting your prime minister. Nowhere in history yes. have Hindus been involved in terrorism. That's not true. We can both agree on that, right? Well, at least I've not heard of anybody using Hinduism as a religion, as a basis to justify terror. Right now, the BJP has nominated for parliament a radical Hindu nationalist named Pragya Singh Thakur, who is currently on bail facing terror charges under your Indian legal system for her alleged involvement in a 2008 bomb attack that killed six people. Can you point to a governing party anywhere in the democratic world which nominates candidates for office who are on trial for terrorism? Well, you should have come and attended her hearing in the Honorable Supreme Court, where within that hearing also, in so many years of investigation under different regimes of government, and I'm talking primarily of our opposition party, the Congress party, which framed her, went in and couldn't find an iota of evidence against her. You can't incarcerate a person just because you believe that she may have committed an act of terror. Sorry, I'm, I'm confused. Did it's I, as simple maybe as I, that. Maybe She's I'm, out on bail. Maybe I'm mistaken. She's not on trial for terrorism. No, she is. I'm saying so, that. And you're okay with someone saying, who's on trial for terrorism standing in parliament? No. She hasn't been cleared saying, yet. I'm Maybe you're also, right. Maybe she was framed. But right now, she's currently on trial for terrorism. And she's running as a candidate for your party. And my answer to that is exactly what I said a moment ago. The Supreme Court is where, finally, she got her bail. On the basic grounds, go read the judgment. Don't ask me. Read the judgment and tell your viewers. So, so hold on. They threw out the case and she's innocent. Is that what you're saying? I never said that. I said she's out on bail.